In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset and pair your Roku remote without a pairing button. So if you have one of these infrared remotes where you don't have a microphone or power button at the top, as far as like what are some things you can do to fix your issues, ideally there's no obstructions between your infrared light on the top of your remote and your actual streaming device or TV. They also recommend that you change your batteries just to ensure it's not a power issue. And you could also try power cycling your device by unplugging it from the wall, plugging it back in, and see if that fixes your issue. Now, if you do have a microphone on your remote, for example, this one here, where it's to the left of the power button, there is something you can do. There is a way to pair it. So it says here you want to pull the tab from the back. So if there is a tab, be sure to pull that off. Then you want to turn your remote around and press and hold the home button and the back button for five seconds. This should bring up a notification on your screen saying that your Roku remote has paired. And there's also something else you can take a look at here. So it tells you these steps, these three steps. Once the green light blinks, your remote is ready for setup. But do bear in mind that this may not always work. And I recommend going through those steps of power cycling your device and see if that helps, as well as checking your batteries to ensure that your new remote or old remote will pair to your Roku device. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.